I don't want people to look at my closing the store as an admission of guilt because it absolutely is not. The doors to a Cambria County business will be closing after federal agents raided that business business last week. The owner of the store, Gary Vaughn, is behind bars for selling stolen goods out of that store. His wife has been running it ever since. Today she spoke with Jacqueline Kovac saying she simply wants nothing to do with it. She joins us live now with those details. Jackie. Yes, federal investigators believe steals and deals continued in the Portage storefront, even with owner Gary Vaughn behind bars. His wife, Tanya, made it very clear that just is not true. The IRS came to Tanya Vaughn's home and her husband's business, Gary, steals and deals Wednesday morning with a search warrant, taking computers and phones. Sunday, Tanya would announce the business would be closing, her decision heavily influenced by the federal investigation. With him being gone, um, me being left here to kind of handle things for him, I didn't feel that that was a fight that I wanted to continue. Gary Vaughn is still behind bars, sentenced to five years for selling stolen items out of the Portage store. Gary still owns the store, but Tanya has been running the business ever since he was convicted. He does know. He doesn't exactly agree with me. Um, but considering, you know, he left me here to deal with it, I have to do what I feel that I need to do. Tanya tells me the community has been very supportive of her, but doesn't want anyone to see this move as a guilty one. I don't want people to look at my closing the store as an admission of guilt because it absolutely is not. I just feel that the federal government has immense power. They can do whatever they want. Um, and I don't have the time or the, or the resources to fight back with them. Now, Tanya Vaughn has never been arrested or charged in any investigation regarding Gary's steals and deals. Now, the store has been closed since the raid last week and will reopen on January 29th for the liquidation sale. Reporting live, Jacqueline Kobach, 6 News.